Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to do another sport short video. It's entitled The Power of Marketing. And what I mean by that is, uh, here's an interesting story. A uh, couple of months ago, maybe about a year ago, my daughter asked me for some Dr. Dre or Dr. Dre, Dr. Beat headphones. I'm like, okay, how much they cost? $300. I don't think so. I'm like, I would just rather give you $300 to put it to better use than to overpay for a product because uh, somebody actually was courteous. My friend in California said, do you know Dr. Dre's a billionaire? I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And uh, he's like, no. And I, I seen the documentary and he's a, a billionaire. And it's like, that's just unbelievable. You know, and, uh, and nothing against Dre. He's a very talented guy. But here's the story. So, of course, I told him, no, I'm not wasting money on anything like that. No $500 cell phones, none of that nonsense. So my nephew came over because I had a recent birthday, so he came by and he had some, you know, and I said, okay, let me check these out. Now, you know, I've been a professional sound engineer since I was in my 20s. I got a really good ear. So uh, I said, you know, I'm interested in to hear these things to see if they're worth the money that they're, they're asking for. So I put them on and they had a pretty nice snug fit to my head. And uh, I plugged them in, and then I took them out and I put, on, put these on, you know, stuck these into my, my computer. And these like are like Emerson's. I think I paid $8 for these. So uh, I compared them. And the only notice, difference I noticed was the Dr. Dre beats or whatever they call had a slight heavier bass tone to it. And these things here sounded just as good to me. And again, I'm not just the average listener. I'm a professional sound engineer. So, you know, it's important that I can hear what I hear in my line of business. So I came to the conclusion that it was just over marketing. And, you know, when you got a hot product, they just over market it. Because uh, the only thing that I can say about them, and it's like I'm surprised somebody finally came up with this dull moment to say, Dag, what took them so long to do this? Because the complaint that most people have is, uh, and myself, you know, I have another set of headphones that uh, I can't even tell people what I use because they stopped making them, so it's hard to find them. And when I find them, you know, I use them. But every six months or close to less than that, I have to replace the, uh, the headphones because the wire goes out. Because it's not that these go out, it's this paper-thin wire. Ten years ago, these cords were real thick and they were curly. And they will last for years, but they, you know, deliberately made them thin so they break and you go buy another one. So uh, that's the, the, the nice thing about the Dr. Dre headphones is that you can take these, unplug them, and, and replace them with other ones. But here's the thing. Uh, you've already paid for the headphones five times over with that outrageous $300 price tag. So uh, it's kind of a clever uh marketing employee but actually it's like it makes sense because again uh with the other headphones that i that i you know that i use for my recordings uh every six months i gotta buy more so that means i'm keep buying more and more but with the dr dre's you're just paying for everything up front three hundred dollars you know and you can just interchange the wires but i just thought i would put this video together just just to, to remind people that uh you know the power of the marketing forces you to pay for a product four or five times over because again I'm not knocking them I'm just saying they're overpriced I mean they're extremely overpriced because again uh, $7 headphones versus $300 headphones the only difference is slightly an additional bass you know heavy bass but I can go to CVS and buy some headphones that have the extra bass frequency bottom thing going that would easily compare uh, compare side by side with the $300 outrageously priced Dr. Dre headphones. So I'm going to sign off now. Like I just said, I just thought I would mention that. Be, uh, be conscious, you know, because, you know, the teenagers want the current stuff. So that's why, you know, uh, they force their parents or pressure them into paying for this mess. You know, but again, you're overpaying. You know, uh, it's different if you're a rich guy and you can afford $300 headphones, but the majority of people that patronize these types of products are just people, regular people. They go to work, get a paycheck, and then in two weeks they get another paycheck. And, you know, they're not rich people. They're not even, I won't even consider them upper class. They're probably middle to lower class. You know, so again, uh, 
be mindful. You know, sometimes, you know, you have to have the balls to step out of line and say, you know what, I'm not getting screwed by these people. You can, if you want to, walk around with the, the you know, the popular mess on your head or the overpriced guitars. But uh, I got better plans for my money, you know. So I just thought I would make this video because, you know, it's not that many people that speak up on things like this as far as uh, paying for something six times over. You know, it's just outrageous. You know, it ain't a matter of being cheap. It's a matter of just being sensible as far as spending your money so that's my take on it and that's all it is till next time thanks for watching